What's up, everybody? It's your boy Eric from Easy Computer Solution, and this is Monday Morning Hangover. I got my man Dave in the building from QC Dads in the building. And they're going to be with me this morning with Monday Morning Hangover. We're going to talk some tech and have some fun for Monday Morning Hangover. What's up, Dave? What's up, Easy? What's going on? What's going on, YouTube? Ain't that man just chilling, man. I tell you what, another episode of Monday Morning Hangover. All right. So, a lot of people was hitting me up on social media. I did not stream this past Saturday. A lot of people like, oh my God, what happened to Easy? Oh my God. And and I'm gonna tell y'all guys, I had some serious uh issues, uh call problems uh this past weekend. And uh, you know, it did the tow truck took about a couple of hours to come pick us up, and, and so oh. things happened, man. And uh so we had a unfortunate situation happened uh, uh you know this past weekend and i just couldn't couldn't make it to the studio fast enough that's all uh and uh so that's what happened but uh, everything is okay right now so shout out to everybody that was hitting me up on social media was asking me all about uh saturday night tech talk uh shout out to all the guests uh that we had to postpone uh to uh next week uh shout out to everybody that hit me up I, I didn't know how much love that I that I get on these shows until uh, I don't have them. Yeah. <laughs> so, shout out to everybody that would, um, you know, that that was very concerned about why I didn't stream Saturday. Um, so, what's going on, man? What's what's new and what's blue, man? We got some uh, all, all kinds of stuff coming out, man. Uh, well, I say stuff coming out. Well, everything is out, right? So we got that the Razor phone is out and. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is out. Um, for, so far, with the iPhone 10, and I know you you love your iPhone 10, uh, and we've been hearing this new stuff about iOS 11 and mm -hmm. uh, what December second things was crashing. Did you experience that? I so so for me, and I'm sure a lot of uh, people in the chat may agree with me. I'm very hesitant to upgrade my iPhone until the upgrade's been out for maybe a couple of weeks. So I haven't upgraded. Uh, I may be upgrading to was 11.2 to check mm -hmm. out that that Apple Cash, see if I can send some money to yeah. some people. But but uh, yeah, I should be updating soon, but I haven't experienced any issues with crashing, so. Yeah, you know what? And I, I'm actually on uh, iOS, uh, let's see, I'm on iOS, let's see where I'm at. I'm on iOS, uh let's see general let's see about uh i am on ios 11.1.2 and i didn't get i didn't have any crashes or anything so um everything has been great actually yeah. um and i'm 11.1.2 as well so <laughs> i'm saying so sh shout out to everybody that's joining the stream catwoman is in the building shout out to don is in the building deepak What's up with your Will is in the building. My man Uno Nice is in the building. Our dog is in the building. Welcome, everybody, to the live stream. Monday morning hangover. I hope you got your cup of coffee. Now, let me tell y'all something. I'm going to give y'all this story. Uh, we, we reached out to uh, Starbucks and uh, for a um, you know sponsorship for Monday morning hangover because I always get them shots out. They got a great staff and everything, you know. Uh, Unfortunately, I got denied. <laughs> hey, you got to try, man. If you don't try, you'll never know. So, yeah. So how, you, you said you, you so you've had a crazy week. It sounds like you've uh, you had some uh, car trouble or what was the issue going on? Yeah. Well, uh, let, well, um, this past Saturday, uh, leaving the business, going home, and uh, that uh, all of a sudden the car just started hesitating. My truck, okay. right? Mm -hmm. and I was like. I'm driving it, it, it just started hesitating, started hesitating. So what I did was I, I got off the interstate, mm -hmm. I pulled over, turned the vehicle off, turned to try to turn it back on. It did it, it it like it wanted to start, but yeah. it didn't want to start anymore. Uh sound like and I believe it may be a uh a fuel pump. Uh oh. Yeah, fuel pump. Yeah. So the, uh, my fuel pump is inside the uh the gas tank. Um and uh, man, I'm gonna tell you something, man. This triple A stuff, man. Let me, man, let me tell you something, man. People be talking about, I got triple A, man. I ain't got to worry about nothing. Yeah, about three hours waiting on the tow truck. 
<laughs> Come on, man. Help me, please. Somebody, anybody. <laughs> I mean, look, man, people be talking about AAA and all that stuff, man. Let me tell you something, man. When you when you got to use it, it's horrible to use it, man. I'm telling you, when you're sitting up there waiting on mm-hmm. the tow truck for three, four hours, man, I could have called the local towing company, could have got that, got me out faster than that, man. Oh, my I've, God. Uh... I, well, I have Verizon, and they have a um, roadside assistant, and they have an app and everything. So I've been using uh, yeah. Verizon roadside assistants, and that seems to work. I've locked my keys on my car a few times, so you know, shout out to Verizon. Thanks a lot, buddy. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, three hours is uh, that's. <laughs> that's <laughs> You know, you could have did a live stream right there. Yeah, that. I, look, that's what I'm saying, man. I was, I, I, look, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so uh, shouts out to everybody. Fox Mumble is in the building. She got a very interesting question. Yes, I just dropped a video by one by the hour before I came on the air, and it was the an emoji tips and tricks. Uh, yeah, because you know, uh, with your an emoji for everybody that got iPhone 10s, it's only 10 seconds. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And uh, so I made a video on how to how to make it longer, but it's complicated. I mean, it is. I mean, you got the screen share, you got to have a secondary microphone, you got to have some editing software. Um, so somebody hit me up and said it's an easier way, uh, but you still need several things to to make yeah. that happen. But uh, it, it's it's not as easy. I mean, you you got to take the the footage off the phone, you got to uh, match up the voice. And uh, I mean, it's 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 complicated. Some people, a lot of people take me up saying it was complicated, but um, that, that's the only way I found on how to how to make long videos with ad emojis. So uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty neat, but it's, it yeah, is complicated. You, you do need to edit a lot, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. I had a chance to take a look at it. And I never really even thought about it. It's, it's once you <laughs> once you get used to, once you do it for the first time though it's pretty straightforward after that but um right yeah it's, it's pretty cool and so and emojis are here to stay it seems like easy I like an emoji man let me tell you something man yeah. I, 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 people can say what they want about it's a five dollar phone and you do an emoji let me tell you something I actually every text message I use I use an emoji from uh from people to Android phones to to iOS phones man <laughs> I use an emoji for everything. <laughs> Deepak, what's Deepak saying? He's he likes uh, his iPhone. He likes his iPhone 10, but uh, he's really happy with the Note. Hmm. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Just, yeah, just two. They're two amazing phones, and it's you know, it's like, hmm, which one do I use today? Uh, that Note boy, that Note is. I know, but you know what? The, the good thing about the Note is, if for everybody that usually have an iPhone, go probably have a Note, and that's that's my thing. Like, I got the Note and the iPhone, so you kind of got the best of both worlds. You got the best of Android, and you got the best of iOS. That's that's to me. That's how it is. You know, mm-hmm. the best of Android and the best of iOS in your pocket. That that's a winning combination. Shout out to, uh, let's see, Art Dog said AAA hit and miss. I know yeah. that for sure. Yeah, it is hit and miss definitely. Uh, let's see. Good morning. Just getting off of work. Fox Mama says she just getting off of work. Sean say, what up? What up? What's up? What you? Um, and let's see. First of all, before we even continue, I want to give a huge shout out. Huge shout out to the Oracle. Today is our birthday. No, happy birthday, uh, so, Oracle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Oracle's birthday today. Uh, you know, it's a good morning. Um, you know, we've been I've been planning a little little something something today. So uh shouts out to the Oracle. She's her birthday. Uh so she she finally reached 21. Legal. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna stay 21. <laughs> yeah, she go, yeah, yeah, she's gonna stay 21. <laughs> yeah, so um Tells B is in the building. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Mm. Uh we've been hearing reports that Apple's gonna come out with a 6.5 inch phone. Um, because people love big phones, and I know I know people in China they love big phones, right? I mean, oh, yeah. uh, overseas. So um, Apple Apple look like they might pull a plunge and go huge, huge six point four inch phone. What's your thoughts about that? So th- there are reports that uh, there's going to be so, so for the most part, it's going to be the same size as the plus version that we currently have now. So it's it's not going to be any bigger. Uh, I'm kind of happy about it because. With my current iPhone 10, 
a lot of people may not know this, but the 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 actual screen is actually smaller than the yeah. uh, the the plus version of, of the iPhone. So uh, so for typing, for instance, it's a little bit more cramped than typing on the plus model. So I'm excited about it. The one thing I'm not excited about is how much is that thing going to cost? Ooh. Because if if I'm paying, I got a 256 iPhone 10 right now, and what was it easy about? Uh, yeah, about thirteen. Yeah, some the tax, change. Yeah, you got, tax, you got Apple Care. Yeah, it, it yeah. gets pretty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it gets real expensive. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, I think uh, it, it's really going to allow Samsung to. Well, I, I think they're trying to probably play catch up with Samsung because what is the Note three is a six point if I'm not mistaken as well. I noticed a 6.4. 6 before, okay, yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, a, a lot of people like big phones and I, I'm probably included. I'm sure you like big phones and a lot of people out there. The big question is though, and I've been seeing reports about this, yeah, is Apple Pencil support. <laughs> I've been talking I've, about it for a while, I've man. Seen, I've seen some reports and I, <laughs> I don't know if, Steve Jobs would like that, you know, if uh... <laughs> I've heard that. I'm telling you, I've been saying this. I've been saying this for about a year now mm -hmm. that after Apple came out with the Apple Pencil for the iPads, this is what they're going into the third generation. Yeah. With the, uh, with the iPad Pros with pen support. It's got to come down to the iPhone. I've been saying this for a while. People have been like, telling me, no, easy. A pencil ain't going to never come to the iPhone. But if you think about it, if mm -hmm. if if the iPhone want to compete with the Galaxy Note, mm -hmm. want to have a complete device with pencil support, you have to come out with a pencil. And not only that, but you think about this like this, right? They have to redo pages and, and, and keynote and stuff like that. They have pen support, which mm -hmm. I believe on the iPad it does. I, I'm not sure if it does. I have I don't I use the Microsoft Suite, so I don't use the uh the Apple suite as far as the keynote and pages and stuff like that. Yeah. But for for business users, uh, and you know, with the pen support, one of the biggest reasons why people keep the note is because of the pencil support and all the software that's in entwined with the with the note. Now, if Apple want to compete with the Galaxy Note, I, I could tell you, and listen, I'm gonna tell you that if the iPhone 10 has a 6.4 inch all screen to body ratio with pen support and they got some pen software or pencil software or whatever and they kind of build a silo to kind of shove that pencil inside the phone yeah. Ooh, that's good I, man it's, it's gonna change a lot of people's minds man uh, I'm gonna tell you. so so one thing though i think apple is probably a little bit concerned about with this you know apple pencil support is I think when the Plus model came out, back when the iPhone 6 Plus came out, they really seen a hit in their iPad sales. And, um, you know, I, I mean, everyone has an iPad. So I think the issue for Apple and they really need to look at is people don't upgrade their iPad every year. So people like iPads, but it's not something that's gonna, you know, they're going to hit, you know, 50 million units, you know, like they do with the iPhone because people just don't upgrade all the time. So it will be really interesting to see how this affects the, the tablet stuff. So I think the mini may be going away, though. That's that's what I'm hearing. So, yeah. I, so. But, but you know what? I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to lie to you. I actually uh, use a, a iPad mini in my business, like for, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, Spotify and, and uh, you know, just kind of grab and go mm -hmm. real quick for the customers. If I wanted to show them a, a quick web page, right. portable, easy, fast. That's the key. Portable, easy, fast. Uh, mm -hmm. And most people that that has iPhones and, and iPads, they already know how the iPad works. So I, I like the iPad mini iPad, mm -hmm. especially for gaming. Like if, if I want to really game, I'm in the car, I pull out the iPad real quick and I can do some gaming and stuff like that. So that works for that. And I don't know. I mean, I, I, I really I really enjoy the iPad mini. Uh, yeah, I think the yeah. iPad Pro or the 12 point or even the 10 point is, is, is getting into a different point. Like it's, it's no longer portable at that point. Mm -hmm. but the iPod, iPad mini. Great, great iPad, man. I, I really do like it. I really do like the iPad Mini. Yeah, everyone's 
talking about the Honor 8. I don't know too much about Oh, that. well, the Honor 8, uh, yeah. a lot of people, one of my, one of the, the my viral videos uh, on my YouTube channel uh, is is the uh, the Honor 8. Every time I make an Honor 8 video, it, it, it does pretty well. So a lot of people that subscribe to this channel mm -hmm. uh, probably watch the Honor 8 video. Yeah. Uh, Honor 8, to me, and I've been using the Honor 8 since it came out, and I don't use it anymore because I got to go past that. Uh, it's a fantastic phone. Uh, it's one of those type of phones where you could pick up for about 250 to 300 bucks. You're going to mm -hmm. get good cameras, good body style, good screen, uh, good performance. You got the Kirin 950 in it, I believe. The Kirin 950 with uh, three to four gigs of RAM. Uh, and I believe it's running Android 7.1 uh, with that uh, MUEI 7 or something on it. It is a phenomenal device. I really do like the uh, Honor 8. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think a lot of people got alienated about the Honor 9 because it went away with that beautiful, uh, uh, elegant look and it went with uh, a metal look uh, instead yeah. of that all beautiful glass. So a lot of people kind of stuck to the Honor 8 instead of the Honor 9, even though the Honor 9 got the updated specs. But a lot of people, to me, with the, the, a lot of people was giving me a lot of comments saying that they liked the design of the Honor 8 versus the Honor 9 with the all metal bill. But I think they got an Honor 9 Pro that does have a, an all glass bill. I don't know. But the problem is with the Honor 9, it's not it's not in the United States. That's why I never reviewed it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I never bought it. Uh, and so, the, I mean, the Honor series in, in the United States is not here. Uh, they only have the Honor 8 in the avail th that's available in the United States. So a lot of people always ask me these questions about the Big 10, the Honor 9, the this, that, the other. And I always tell them that if I can't buy it in the United States, I don't review them. Yeah, uh, so, because so. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say since, I mean, for 100 bucks more, you can pick up a Z4, uh, X4. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean and you're, you're getting Alexa. You know, you're... <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> are you talking about the X4, the Motorola X4? Yeah, I mean, you could. Oh, man, I love this phone. You got, the, you got the Moto Mods and everything. I mean, and then you can you take it on my notch, you can go with the Essential phone. So it's, uh, yeah. but two, two, 230, someone said 230 is a, is a, if you're just trying to find a budget phone, it sounds like this is a, a good option, but, um, you know, uh, phones seem to be getting, it's so weird though. It seems like phones are getting cheaper, but at the same time, phones are getting more expensive. It's just, it's just, it's interesting that you would think that well, these phones would get cheaper, but they're not. Some of the high end phones at least. So, you know, I don't know. Well, the, well, the thing about it is, here's the thing the, 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 the mid tier phones are getting better. Mm, uh, good point. And, yeah. and, and, and the mid tier phones are getting better. Think about this, right? I got the, uh, the, uh, the, the Motorola X4, right? I mean, right. think about this, right? Would you ever thought that you could buy a phone for under 500 bucks? So you could even find this for under 400 bucks, right? Yeah. That has such a beautiful design. I mean, absolutely gorgeous design with a pretty decent processor, which is the 630, which is that I believe that's a newer processor, 630, four gigs of RAM for like 350. I mean, that's just mind boggling. It, 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 same thing with like maybe the LG G6, right? I mean, yeah. to me, you think you think about a phone like the LG G6, right? I mean, you could get this phone for at least 300 bucks. I mean, you still got the 21, you got four geeks around, all the bells and whistles and stuff like that. Or even if you want to go to maybe a last year flagship, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. Last year flagship, right? Oh, the Galaxy S7 Edge. But you go pick this phone up cheap, uh, and uh, one. I mean, it, so you you do have options. You do have options, and a lot of people you really don't have to necessarily, you know, go with high end phones. Mm -hmm. uh, you can always just get mid tier phones, and they're very capable. Man, I'm gonna tell you, going to a phone that got a six thirty processor in it. From it from 835, it opened it up apps, opened up Twitter, Facebook, you know, Instagram and stuff like that. It's just, it all opened up the same. I don't have any problems with that. Even with gaming. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's, it's just it's just a, it's it's great, you know. So I mean when you talk about
spending a thousand dollars on a pixel, <laughs> uh, on a V30. I mean, the V30 is still expensive. The pixel is expensive. The iPhone is expensive. I mean, even the Samsung devices, you know, the the S8 and the, the Note 8. They, I mean, they're expensive as hell, man. But the, this holiday season, you got choices. That's the whole thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, our dog was saying that the M, the, the my A1, is mm -hmm. even it's apparently is even cheaper. But I'm looking at the specs here, and it's, it's 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 very similar to what we have on the um the the uh, the the uh the honor the honor phone. So yeah, uh, uh, but phones are getting better, and you know the mid tier phones are definitely something that I think we as you know YouTubers tend to. Uh, well, at least not you. A lot of YouTubers yeah. tend to shy away from mid-tier phones. They always go for the yeah the higher, higher end phones. But uh, um, yeah, low end phones and mid-tier and, and mid-tier phones are getting better. And I think the reason why is because the technology is easier to manufacture. So, um, I'm, well, I'm really I, excited. But you know what? Here's the biggest problem, right? When you see a lot of tech reviewers out there. I mean, they see a phone with a, a 625 or 652 processor or 630 processor, mm -hmm. right? And a lot of big tech reviewers say, well, you know, it's not going to give you that power, not like an 835. Well, yeah. They should have put the 835 in it. And, <laughs> 836, yeah. Man, a lot of people don't. I, 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 I talk about this a lot on a lot of my streams. If you on Facebook, uh, you know, this kind of browsing the web or down. I mean, it, listen, I believe that a lot of phones can do almost anything an 835 can do uh, and probably do it with better battery life. Uh, you know, a lot of people say, I want my apps to open up fast, fast, fast. Mm -hmm. Man, come on, man. Let's 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 be real here, man. When you talk about like a, a six fifty two processor, and listen, I I did this with a lot of phones. I took like six fifty two processors and put them up against eight twenties, and the eight twenties get smoked every time. You know, um, mm -hmm. you know, you put up a, a six thirty processor, right? Like this this Motorola device. I mean, I've been having this phone for like four days, and I I charge it up like twice right i mean the battery life is phenomenal on the thing right but you you get good performance you get good battery life you get this and is this the thing that uh a lot of people get this get caught up in the hype of 835 835 process and you know what's so funny in about 30 days the 835 process is all old news because we got the 845s coming out so at the end of the day you know a lot of people get get caught up in this spec hype. Oh, I got 19 gigs of RAM. Uh, I bet you my phone could be faster than yours because I got 22 gigs of RAM. Man, come on, man. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, just, I, just, I just sit up there and I'd be like, you know, all right, so you got eight gigs of RAM. Yeah, I can have a thousand tabs open. Okay, <laughs> but, the, but the operating system got them dormant, right? I mean, they all yeah. sitting in the background closed, but you could open up a thousand tabs. I, you know, I, I get into the spec on people don't like that though. People are like, man, you don't know what you're talking about, man. So I remember back, uh, I remember back in 2016 when the 820s and the 821 came out, and everybody was, oh, I got the 821, it's way better than the 820. And I said to myself, y'all gotta be kidding me, man. And I just I don't even say anything anymore like I used to, but I used to get into these spec wars with people. And I, I can have a device with a 652 process as my daily driver. I mean, it, 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 I've, I've, I've had phones that had 652 processors in it. They are very good. I mean, the Moto Z Play, Moto yeah. Z2 Play, those devices are just phenomenal. Stock Android, it, just great phones, man. But a lot of people get caught up in the spec hype. You know, that's, that's, that's what they do. Speaking of. Oh, you froze up. Speaking of specs, um, Boy Genius is reporting that when the S9 launches uh, next year, it's going to launch with a new Dex. They don't have any detail. They don't have any details yet, but apparently it's supposed to launch um, with the S9, which is interesting because uh, Samsung is the only manufacturer who is doing this particular accessory right now. I don't see anyone else doing it. So 
but kind of sticking with it. Um, I remember way back, way, way back, Motorola did something similar, but they kind of shied away from it. But uh, what are your thoughts on maybe a new DEX for next year? And what are some things that you think they need to change with the current DEX? All right, so with the DEX, uh, now the Mate 10 uh, has an option that uh, it has a, a, uh, a special peripheral. Mm-hmm. Like you could plug in uh, HDMI to your uh, TV, straight to your TV, and you could get uh, – kind of similar Dex type of uh, performance. Now, one of the things I like about Dex, I made plenty of videos about Dex. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, I got about three or four Dex. I got them all scattered all over the place. <laughs> Absolutely, when you got your Note 8 or Galaxy S8 and you just go go to one, one of my locations and I just plug it into my Dex, I got a wireless keyboard and a wireless mm-hmm. mouse and uh, I could get full work done. Think about this, right? Excel spreadsheets. From just, I'm talking from a business perspective. Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint, Word. Uh, th- those are the, to me, the key factors of, of getting work done. Like, so you don't need a PC for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and plug that into Dex, and you, I could type up a whole memo instantly, right? And uh, I can deploy it out to, to you know email it to all of my uh, all of my, my my members. Get it done right from Dex, easy. And you know what's the good thing about it is, you don't even need internet because you can use the phone internet for everything. So it's like it's a win win. Just say you know hotel, mm-hmm. right? And most hotels internet is bone slow, and yep. you need to get some work done. I mean, you plug in uh, a Dex to HDMI to the to the hotel TV. And you got a wireless keyboard and wireless mouse, and they got keyboards that way you can fold up. Yeah. Very portable. You plug it in, and you could get work done. I mean, think about. I remember back in the day, I always thought that you needed a PC to do uh, uh, Excel spreadsheets because Excel spreadsheets with a lot of tabs and all kinds of stuff, it takes a, it takes a little toll on the computer. You need a lot of power for that. I could, I kid you not, I could do Excel spreadsheets on my decks. So smooth, it 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 a knock any PC out of the water as smooth as, as it is. I mean, getting work done. I mean, it, the, to me, Dex is 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 a, is a game changer. If if you got a Galaxy S8, Galaxy Note 8, and even if you're in college, think about a college student. They go out mm-hmm. and spend a thousand bucks on the on the on the computer. But if your dorm room has a a monitor, most most newer monitors got HDMI. You can buy a Dex. 50 bucks for a Dex right now, right? And you could spend $20 on the keyboard and the mouse, less than 200 bucks. You got yeah. a complete PC. As far as getting work done, absolutely. Now, a lot of people say, well, can I do Photoshop? And Well, I mean, you could do some form of, 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 vi- of photo editing. I actually do a lot of photo editing on my phone. So yes, you can do some form of photo editing. And yes, you can use uh, directors, whatever, to do some uh, video editing. Mm -hmm. Uh, So you can do video editing, photo editing, and actually on the last video, I actually use a, uh, I always use VPN to to log into uh, like my Windows 10. But on the last video, I use Flashtop. And I logged in remotely to another PC and I was running uh, Steam games. I was running Steam games from another location on my decks using the Galaxy S8. And that's phenomenal. And you got full access to Windows 10. So so, so Fox, my mama, she makes a good point. She's saying that she doesn't know anyone that uses Dex. So is it something that Samsung is doing wrong? Maybe they're not marketing it the way they should? Or is it just not something that you think a lot of, I guess, average consumers would benefit from well the thing about dex i think what it is is a lot of people don't know about dex is because samsung don't market it yeah I mean, they really don't market dex i mean I, look I, it, 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 I mean i got the deck sitting right here on my desk and yeah. it just it just they just don't market you know you could actually do live streams and all that stuff from dex i mean everything from dex i mean if you get and i've i made a dex and I go deep into I go deep into uh, Dex to try to let people know how to use Dex. 
I think a lot of people got this, stay scared because nobody don't make videos about it except me, but I'm a small YouTube channel. <laughs> the big boys don't make, they don't make detailed videos about Dex. I mean, Dex is old news. I mean, they talked about Dex when the Galaxy S8 first came out, what, uh, almost eight months ago? Nobody revisit Dex. I've been making videos about Dex. I, I, I made a video about the Dex last week. Oh, Lamont loves so, Dex, so. Shout out to Lamont. <laughs> he loves the Dex. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So yeah. uh, I think yeah, if, if, if Samsung come out with a new Dex, uh, I think as long as they update the old Dex, I don't see no. I don't see the. I don't see with 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 the new Dex. Maybe they're gonna have more peripherals. Maybe. Uh, is, it maybe. USB, is it USB C or is it? Uh... Yeah, USB C. You might have more peripherals. You might be maybe a, a different design. Maybe because I mean this one here. I mean, it's 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 pretty cool. I mean, it's it maybe they come out with small. You know, small is always better. Yeah. Maybe they come out with small, but on the back of it, I mean, you got two USBs, USB Type C, and you got a LAN port. Oh, really? Think about this on the phone. You got a LAN port. <laughs> I mean, what phone that that you could plug internet straight to the phone using the LAN? Uh, that's I don't know. I talk about Dex because it works great. Ah, there's so much stuff out there, man. I, I was I was thinking. Uh, Fox Mama just she said she uses Splash Top, which is I guess a remote desktop to mm -hmm. access her computer, which I'm a big fan of because pretty much you can do everything that's on your your Mac or PC right from your um right from your phone or uh, what I think may be ideal for remote um, access is something like a Chromebook, you know. So. Yeah. It's a lot of options out there, and um, I love for Samsung to take risk like they do because if they don't, then you know companies like Apple won't won't take risk as well. So, um, you know, I, I think um, I think one thing I think a lot of consumers do want though is to maybe to use Dex on a go and like a maybe a laptop kind of yeah or something like that, and uh, I would. I would sign up for it. You know, I, I think uh, I think these smartphones are so powerful, right? Easy. Yeah. And it's like you can do so much with them now. It's 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 uh it's insane. Yeah. Like the note, uh, these what what is it? New Snapdragons coming out, and yeah, they're just super fast. And um, I think things are gonna be getting thinner as as time goes on. If you look at the, uh, and I don't I don't I don't understand why they did a thousand dollar Chromebook. The um. What is it? The Pixel Book? Is that what it's called? The uh... yeah, <laughs> the Pixel Book. Man, let me tell you something. That to me is it's it's the weirdest thing on the planet, right? I mean, we we talk about a Chromebook here, man. We not we not talk about no PC. We talk about a Chromebook without internet. It, it, it's basically useless. And this is look, this is this is so funny. When I see a Chromebook, and I'm yeah. looking at Dex, right? Uh, I mean, if I had a choice out of a Chromebook, thousand dollar Chromebook, of spending two hundred bucks on the Dex keyboard and mouse, that my phone uses internet. That means I don't need internet because I can mm -hmm. use my phone internet. And the the Dex does everything that the Chromebook can do, and <laughs> probably a more portable. I go I go Dex all the way. It's well if, if you got a, a Galaxy device. See, that's yeah. the thing. If you don't have a Galaxy device, then that's something different. You know, you be like, well, I gotta go buy a Galaxy S8 then. That, that's that a lot of people that don't doesn't have Samsung devices, they don't understand how and splash uh Fox Mama say the reason I think mostly people don't use Dex because they don't see the benefit in Dex. And that that's the the point, right? Like, mm -hmm. this say, like my my daughter, she she comes home from school, right? And uh, if I Mac, if she don't want to do her Mac, well, she I have the Dex plugged into the big screen TV in the living room, and mm -hmm. she do all her homework right on the sixty five inch TV, just because you know it's just that easy. But I mean, the benefits of Dex is like this: you gotta look at it two ways. You gotta look at it to me as a business perspective, right? Yeah. Uh, to go to different locations that have decks already set up, just pop in the phone. If I started doing this Excel spreadsheet at one location, 
and I go to another location, I pop in decks, I can finish that uh, Excel spreadsheet without even pulling out a PC, without even pulling out my laptop, without even pulling out anything. I just put, put my phone in and it's going to automatically go into the DEX program, open up my Excel spreadsheet, and I continue to do what I was doing. I don't have to boot it up. I don't have to take it out of the bag. I don't have to carry a laptop. I don't have to carry a PC. I don't even have to need, I don't even need a PC at that point, right? Because the yeah. DEX could do everything a PC can do. So if you look at it in that perspective, that's the point of, of, of a DEX system is that the point is that you don't need an iPad. You don't need a, to carry around a computer everywhere you go, mm -hmm. even if you're in a hotel. I mean, think about this. Oh, my God. I, I don't, besides besides uh, in New York, by the way, I don't know. I haven't been into a hotel yet to have good high-speed internet. No. When I was in New York, it was different. But anywhere else, I mean, you're getting 0.5 megs. I mean, you can't. How could <laughs> how could you even do work with that type of internet? But on my phone internet, I'm getting 50 megs, 100 yeah. megs, right? So that's what DEX come in at. DEX come in at if you need a high-speed internet, you don't want to pay an extra 50 bucks on your bill at the hotel. You could get work done. You get everything. That, 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 that's to me, that's how it is. So... What's your thoughts? Shout well, out to Mark. I guess the question is, and, and I'm sure a lot of people may have seen this on YouTube uh, in the last couple of days. Uh, can you watch the new Avengers trailer on a Dex? Yes. Have you seen, have you seen that trailer? Oh my gosh! That I, I haven't saw the trailer, but uh, oh. woo. yes, you can watch. You can watch the movies, trailers. You could actually. He was so funny. If you do, mm -hmm. I, I downloaded the uh, the the. the the CBS app because I like to watch a uh, blind spot, blind spot because the new season is out and I haven't got caught up on it. So I'm on decks watching blind spot. Also, some of the older uh, series. Of, uh, this say if I, I missed. Um, oh God, I used to watch uh, Jack Bow. He, he's the president right now. I, I always miss his episodes on Wednesdays because I'm streaming on Wednesdays, which is Designated Survivor. Mm -hmm. Right, so I just pop in decks the next day and I watch Designated Survivor, and that's I mean, that's it, it, it's just so convenient, you know. That's all. Uh, shouts out to everybody that's joined in this stream. Uh, tells me say stock Android with a Snapdragon 630 processor, uh, with a mid tier phone, smooth flagships. I'm gonna tell you, one of the reasons why a lot of companies is, is going with stock Android with lower processors is because of the speed. Mm -hmm. I think we get I think we get this crossed up about speed and functionality, right? A lot of people say, well, my phone is faster than yours. Let me tell you something. A lot of people always knock the, the Note series, right? Say, oh, the Samsung Galaxy phones are laggy and buggy. It's not buggy. All right, just make sure we understand. It's not buggy, but it does have that. It don't open up fast like a Pixel mm -hmm. or an iPhone. It's because Samsung give you everything underneath the sun. If you want smooth, fast, with no features, go with a Pixel, go with a OnePlus 5. If you want a feature-rich device that need to get you a lot of get work done and you need pin support or whatever, then that's where your Galaxy phones come in at, right? I mean, a lot of people always not Samsung for, for touch whiz and all that stuff like that. But I get it now. I get it now. You buy a Samsung device because of functionality. You don't buy it for speed. I mean, that that's to me. I, I've, I've learned that lesson over, yeah. over time about fast, 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 fast. Everybody want to have it fast. My phone is fast in the yields. My apps can open up fast in the yields. But the apps still open. That's the whole thing, even though it may not open as fast as yours, but it's still open. Listen, I don't justify Samsung devices as being laggy. I'm not justifying it. All I'm justifying is that I think we get this, my phone is faster than yours, kind of blow out of proportion. Yeah, and I, I put it like yeah. this, you know. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, you're right, man. It, it, it's, I mean, at this point of the game, I mean, easy. You've probably you've had every note, right? So yeah, there's, there's no note you haven't had. And um, who was it? Sean, Sean, be nice. He put a video out about the uh, the, the iPhone 10, and he was he he said what I said. Uh, it's it's a it's the sticky factor, right? So a lot of people they want the pen, you know, and 
they, they're, they're used to that. And it is, there's no way you can sell them anything else without a pen. It's just like, yeah. it's, it's like, it's like buying a car with, with, you know, manual windows. You're not going to buy a car with manual windows because you're used to automatic windows. So it really boils down to that sticky factor and less about the specs at this point. Specs is, I think some people do just because we get kind of geeky, but it's not about specs anymore. It's about the software that the phone comes with because at the end of the day, uh, every phone is really good. Even the mid-tier phones are really good. The cameras are good. And it really boils down to the software. And yeah. um, I, I think I think that's important for for people to really understand. But I, I think at the end of the day, we're still going to – mine is better. It's just human nature for us to want to be the, the, the man at the top of the hill. So yeah. um, – and you, you'll see that. Uh, I don't know if you see, you probably did see it. Uh, Samsung's new commercial where they, they throw a shot at Apple. <laughs> yeah, they, they, with the hairline, that was that was. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh, yeah. that's 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 classic Samsung. They've been doing that for years. Yeah, uh, you know, Apple normally they they'll they might they might shoot back, but normally Apple they don't yeah. they don't, don't say too much. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Apple really don't shoot back too much, and, and you know. Samsung has always been throwing throwing crosses at people, you know. Uh, I mean, look, think about it like this, right? I, and, and you, you got to go back to Samsung history, back with the Galaxy S two, yeah, right. The Galaxy S two and the Galaxy S three when they first started putting quad HD displays on it, right? And they've been going after Apple. I mean, Apple was put what less than seven twenty p screens in it on their phones, even though it looked good, and they called it retina displays, but. <laughs> If it was Samsung was putting quad HD displays on their phones way back in 2013 and 2014. And the thing about it is Samsung always been throwing jabs at, at Apple. And you know, in 2017, I think I think most average consumer already know what they go pick up. Most people would when you talk to most people out in the wild, what did mm -hmm. they say? I say, Oh, I'm gonna pick up a, a, a phone for Christmas. Uh, it is gonna be an Apple. Most people that's got iPhones, they go get the either iPhone eight or iPhone ten. Most people that get everything else, everything else is gonna be Samsung. Now that's true. you got you got those people that's in the hood that got all the Boost Mobile stores and, and Metro PCS is <laughs> all in the hood, right? They go get uh -huh. the Z phones. They go get the the lower end phones because it's free. Buy one get twenty free. Those type of yeah. phones, right? You get free high speed data. Well, it's not high speed data. It talk about like unlimited data and all that stuff like that, right? But all the hood stores, you know, they all got Metro PCSs and Boost Mobile all over the place. Then that's where your ZTE phones come in at, right? Because it's cheap. And you get them. I mean, you, I mean, you get them. They 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 almost free. I mean, you get people. Most people get the 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 the, the fifty dollar plan with unlimited this and unlimited that. It is like that, but most average consumers going to go for two brands. I mean, look, I show people, I show people a phone, right? And it's the first thing they go ask is if it's a Galaxy or it's an iPhone. That's the two name brands pop up in most people' head, and that's the marketing that that uh, Samsung and Apple have done over the last decade. Is that they just market their phone? Think about every you watch when you watch a uh, uh, um, uh, sports, right? When you watch a football game, right? Mm -hmm. All you go see is Apple and Samsung. But guess what? Shouts out to Motorola. Oh my God, they advertisement been all over the place. I've been seeing Hello Moto with the girl with the the, the stuff. So, shouts out to Motorola. That's been. I mean, they really been pushing the envelope for, as far as advertisement. Um, yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, Motorola just did a a a, a commercial sh uh, jab in Samsung. Uh, oh. With the with the Moto Mods, I think I saw a commercial that um, Motorola come out jabbing at Samsung, uh, saying that why I get this when you can get the Moto Mods and all. It was like, okay, Motorola stepping up, all right, cool, let them have you know. What are your thoughts on Moto Mods? Do, do you do you love think them. they have? I mean, love them. You know, I'm gonna tell you what's the, the good thing about the Moto Mods. If you could get the phone at the at the price that it is now, like which mm -hmm. like. Four, four five hundred bucks with the, the, the motor z2 force or whatever and, and, and the motor mods range in between you know uh, 50 to 100 bucks uh i think that's that's a win-win because here's the thing 
if you want to project them out, hopefully the projector buy would come down the price a little bit. I mean, nobody, I don't, I mean, I think it's like 250. That's kind of expensive for a mile. Yeah. But the JBL mod, I mean, you could you could get the first generation or maybe the second generation JBL mod for under under hundred bucks, which is a very good speaker mod. Uh, the the battery mod, two days, three days of battery life, to me the the battery lot mod is a must because if you want to have three days of battery life, get the motor, uh, get the uh, the turbo boost power mod. All right, so uh, then to me. If you want to go with uh, like the 360 camera, uh, they got a mod for that. I mean, a lot, a lot of people that's not into 360 cameras right now, but I think 360 cameras, are, that's the future to me. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I think Motorola got a concept. Motorola concept with the mods is what everybody tried to do it, like with the G G5, which yeah. was a fail, right? And then now we got everybody that's like their central phone got the little pogo pins in the back for a mod. Mm -hmm. The only person that perfected it was Motorola. I mean, that's the only company to me has perfected the mods is Motorola right now. Yeah, I I, I agree. Lamont Lamont thinks the uh, <laughs> thinks Motorola phones are ugly. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, so I, I think Motorola has really perfected the mods. I mean, I, I remember LG they tried to do something yeah with, but it didn't it didn't pan out too well um but i, I do want to make a point and i think this is what the was it with the the x the z2 was it the z2 the new z2 yeah uh -huh. and i was reading a report and, and tell me what your opinion is on this that they they actually reduced the capacity of the battery right yeah and a lot of people are saying you know it was kind of sneeze it wasn't really cool for them to do that and then they want to push these mods in your face so you can get a bigger battery, which I, I think, uh, come on, don't, don't, I mean, I guess Samsung did it with the Note, the Note A with a smaller yeah, battery, but, you know, give us the same size battery. If I need more battery, let me get a, I'll get a mod if I need the battery. But, um, you know, I, my thoughts on the mods is uh, I think I think they're great. Uh, I, I see essential. The Century Phone did some mods, so people manufacturers see the see the value in it with the three sixty camera and, and things like that. Uh, the only issue with the mods, I think, for a lot of people, is going to be how do I, you know, how do I transport it? Is it something else I have to kind of worry about? You know, and a lot of people like they like simple, really simple, and yeah. I, I wonder, and, and like you mentioned earlier, some of these mods are really expensive. Like you're talking, what the projector yeah. is, is two, two. Oh yeah, change. projectors. So um, I think I think they may be on to something, but um, I, I don't think it's going to be something that the mainstream consumer is going to really want to take advantage of at at this point. And they've been doing them, the mods for maybe what three, four years now, I think. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, the the thing about it is like let's go back to the battery part right okay uh a lot of companies went capacities kind of went down a little bit especially on the flagships because of the 835 processor all right so what mm -hmm. happened was when well, the 835 processor came out uh, it was so much of a battery efficient processor per se i disagree with it i'm gonna tell you why uh so a lot of companies came out with the lower capacity batteries i mean we've seen devices with 27 2800 million batteries that went from 3,000 milliamp, it was scaled down to 27 to 3,000 milliamp battery because of the processor. Now, Motorola did that because after the um, the Moto Z1, uh, which was like a 35 or 3,400 milliamp battery, then it went maybe a 3,000, 3,200 milliamp battery, then it went back to a 27 million, 100 milliamp battery because it used the 835 for that power consumption type thing, right? Now, I can tell you that the Moto Z2 Force battery life was pretty decent. I mean, look, five hours of on-screen time is not great, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that's what I was kind of averaging, five and a half hours of on-screen time with the device. Um, and But I think the, the thing about what we, what was going on here is that 
obviously Motorola want to do this modular thing, right? They really want to push this modularity. I mean, a phone is thin. I mean, very thin phone. Um, and I agree with you. But here's the rebuttal back to why I think bigger batteries is better. Because to me, it's all about on-screen time. Right. I mean, you could you, look. Yeah, of course, you're going to get very good standby time. But I mean, that's not using the phone. But using the phone, uh, it's all about on screen time. And I think a lot of them, a lot of OEMs, a lot of these uh, companies going to these lower capacity batteries, depending on the 835 processor. But when it comes down to on screen time and high brightness, you're not going to get no more than five hours, four hours of on screen time. You know, so that's the that's the deal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, only who was it? Um, I think the Razer phone. They did a, a four thousand. Yeah, they 4, got four thousand. Yeah, they got four thousand. Yeah, it's a pretty big phone though. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, shouts shouts out to everybody that's joining the stream. We got a nice crowd here. Uh, let's see, we got the big Miz tech in the building. Uh, D Pack is in the building. Although uh, I have a lot of flagships like the Note Eight, iPhone X E Plus. I keep uh, coming back to the Z2 Play. Z2 Play, awesome, awesome device, uh, by the way. Awesome device. Fox Mumble said, nine tech heads, I only, uh, I know, uh, only really care about cameras for selfies, batteries, and big screens. And that's, that's, that's where the iPhone 8 come in at. That's where your Galaxy S8 come in at. Uh, because they're big phones. Big phones, pretty decent cameras on it. Let's see, running a 1080p resolution saves a ton of battery life. My sister get three days on a full charge. Mm -hmm. Now, what phone is that, Fox Loma, uh, with uh, three days of, of, of that? Let's see, um, a, a big, uh, big mix tech said uh, the mods are crazy price, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the problem with Motorola. I, look, I, to me, and I think if you buy a uh, the Motorola Z2 Force at T-Mobile, I, I think everywhere they're giving you the free projector mod. You know, I think they, they oh, okay, so the ZT Blaze Max. Oh, okay, the ZT Blaze Max. Say, look, let's talk about ZTE for a second. I mean, we got these, I just saw a video this morning about the uh, Exxon M. I didn't get it's not getting good reviews at all uh from no tech reviewers i don't have the the phone I miss mean, it's, it's sub mm. 700 bucks it's 800 dollar phone yeah what's your thoughts about this x on you uh the dual can the dual screen hmm uh i just i'm not excited about it uh i i don't i don't see a use case for this device to be quite honest with you um you know, it's sort of like the whole thing. You ever, and tech, technology's been doing this for years where they try to do a lot. You try to do this, try to do this with the phone. Just do one thing you're good at. With this dual screen, it's kind of a line in the middle. It's 700 bucks. Uh, I mean, did you, you didn't even pick it up. I mean, I, I just, I mean, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe like go back if they had a stylus with it. That might have, that might be kind of cool if you had a stylus that you can, you know, jot stuff down, that may be a benefit, but I just don't see the target customer for this device. I, I, I don't even, it's, 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 it's sort of like the, the, uh, the $1,000 uh, Chromebook. I just yeah. don't see it. <laughs> I, I, you know, I agree with you. I mean, think about yeah. it like this. Thanks on M and uh, a shout out to Miguel. I, I know that's you, Miguel. Shout out to Miguel. He said the X on M is a beta product. And I agree. I mean, yeah. look, I think, the Exxon M could be a great phone if they would have did it a little differently from my think. I mean, 5.2 inch screen, eh, you know. I mean, we got, we got, I mean, maybe, maybe a 5.5 inch. Um, I think it, since you go run two screens with, with double the pleasure, double this and double that, you got to have a, a little better processor because yeah. every, everything I've been hearing through all the tech people that have been reviewing this phone talk about it. Sluggish, it's laggy and buggy. Uh, it needs to be a little more optimization. It's like it's not ready for prime time. And, and, and so, but $800 price point, 
um, it's it's pretty expensive. But I would give them that they tried. They I mean they they, they came out with the device. They pushed the envelope. I mean. But you got to remember ZTE here. Now that, that's the whole thing. It's, this is not Samsung, and it's not HTC. This is not LG. This is ZTE. So when you say ZTE, you always kind of remind yourself of the Z Max Pros or the um, the the ZTE Blade V8s yeah. uh, or the or the lower end ZTE phones. That's that's targeted towards a different demographic and the different market all right not more different demographics but more of a different market uh to me taking it that zte is in the, what the top five um uh you know cell phone makers in, in the world zte sell a ton of phones the mid tiers and the low end phones uh the x07 to me was the they flagship and i we I think ZTE want to follow up on it, which they coming up to X on eight, I believe. I don't know when that device is coming out, but when you hear ZTE, uh, you hear ZTE and what the more of a mid tier market. And I think it's going to be all right. But uh, with the X on M, I think the biggest problem that most people have, right, is that hinge in the middle. I mean, yeah. this is awful watching a video. What that with that split screen? It's got to be this awful this complete awful uh let's see let's see uh two screens three thousand milliamp battery four gigs of ram 821 processor one screen uh uh, uh sluggish uh was set up uh what zt taking <laughs> what specs beyond it you know what and that's the, the problem uh Mikhail. i and to me i think if it was a this say four thousand milliamp but you got to put a lot of lot of power look you got to put a bigger battery in this thing right you can't you got to go with at least six gigs of ram 835 processor especially if you go charge 800 bucks for the thing right uh yeah. and i agree with you i agree with you let's see i don't have the one plus 5t it's just all dog I'm, I'm just reading comments guys i don't have the one plus 5t uh one plus need to quit and drop that that lava raid. I, you know what? I saw a lot of the raids popped up on Twitter. Also, the Star Wars edition that popped up on yeah. Twitter uh, of the One Plus Five T. I mean, the movie come out in what less than a week. I don't know. I mean, can can you even order this thing? Um, yeah. yeah, let's see. It's nice color. It's nice, nice. It looks like the the product red actually a little bit. Um, for Apple. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, the I did for everybody that this uh, started watching my YouTube channel. I I did a funeral video for the ZTE Blade V8, uh, and uh, I put it on the grill. I, I burned that phone up. Uh, so if y'all want to see that video, y'all want to have some giggles and laugh. I do have a video on my YouTube channel which I took the ZTE Blade V8 Pro. Uh, so, I did a drop test and I burned it on the grill. So I, I got a. I got, I got a, I got a question for the, the chat out there, and I've, I've seen this, and it seems like this is the direction we're going with phones, where a lot of new phones, even if the one plus, uh, the new, the one plus five, T, they're doing a eighteen by nine aspect ratio. Now, uh, you have an iPhone ten, right? Yeah. And. And maybe you have a note as well, so maybe you can answer this question because I don't have a note. Mm -hmm. Are a lot of the applications that are on the Note Eight now supporting this new aspect ratio? Yeah. They, is is it? Uh, well, all right. So uh, when, when you talk about applications, a lot of the apps when if when 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 the G six first came out, uh -huh. I that's the G. I believe the G six was the first one that came out with the eighteen by nine aspect ratio. Uh, it, it was uh, you had problems because a lot of apps didn't support it. Was you had black bars? Yeah. Uh, now the um, the apps got updated and now they do support the eighteen by nine aspect ratio. I mean, the eighteen by nine aspect ratio is a love hate child. Mm. When you got a aspect ratio, I mean, I, I, I for some strange reason I am a sucker for sixteen by nine aspect ratio versus <laughs> a 18 by 9 aspect ratio, which gives you a taller phone, but you lose screen real estate. 
Yeah. You lose all that screen real estate because you go six, you go 18 by nine. But I, mean, I am a sucker. And by the way, Motorola kind of look a little bit. <laughs> but I, when I look at look, when I look at this phone, I kind of look at this phone a little bit. Second take, second take, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know, but um, I think I don't know. But so I'm a I, big I, I'm a big Apple guy, as you may know. I have an issue with Apple right now. I got this uh -oh. new twelve hundred dollar phone, right? <laughs> Great phone, got edge to edge screen. Why the hell is it when I go take a video or a picture, I can't record an eight? I think it's like a nineteen by nine for the for the iPhone X. I can't record in that in that aspect ratio, and I can't take pictures in that ratio. It, it doesn't make sense to me, and I feel like if Steve Jobs was still around, that wouldn't happen. You yeah. know, you you want me to embrace the notch, all right? I want to embrace the notch. I want to I want to make love to the notch, but I should be able to take pictures and video. And that aspect ratio, unlike the Note 8, you can go yeah. into the settings on a Note 8 and put it in the 18 by 9 ratio. And when you play those videos, it's taking up the full screen. Yeah. As opposed to with the, with the iPhone 10, I'm still getting 16 by 9 videos and I can't change it or I can't, it's, it's pretty much nothing I can do to take a, advantage of that full screen unless I uh, zoom in, which is just an extra step that I shouldn't have yeah. to do. So. Apple, if you're watching, listen, let's change. <laughs> let's just add that feature if you're watching. I want a 19 by 9 aspect ratio for my video <laughs> and my pictures. 1200 bucks, people. Come on, Apple. You know. Hey, but, but you know what? Hey, the thing about it, when I, when I uh, do my video editing on Adobe yeah. Premiere Pro, uh, they, it, you can actually uh, set it. Because I have actually took footage mm -hmm. off of an iPhone 10. When I put it in Adobe Premiere Pro, I actually changed the aspect ratio to, to the 18 by 9. So yeah. um, and, and, and when you're doing your editing, to that part, you can change the aspect ratio. But uh, you, you have to have, I don't know. No, I, I only use two uh, editing software. That's Adobe Premiere Pro. If I'm on my Mac, I'm using Final Cut Pro. I, don't, I haven't edited a video on Final Cut Pro in a while. That's but I know when I use Adobe Premiere Pro, you could change the aspect ratios on it now. So yeah, I haven't figured a way because I'm thinking, you know, and if there's any other YouTubers out there um, in the chat or you know maybe watching after after the video goes up, uh, you know, in the comments, leave. Are are you? Is it something you may consider doing? Is start shooting your videos in you know 18 by nine, uh, so you can take advantage of all these new phones with these longer aspect ratios. Yeah, um, eighteen by nine will be the standard. I think that's yeah. we go see two thousand eight nine eighteen. Uh, we go see that uh, the the new standard of eighteen by nine. I mean, look, it makes sense in so many ways, but I'm just a sucker for sixteen by nine aspect ratios. I don't know. I mean, I I don't know if I'm old school, but boy, when I pull out a sixteen by nine aspect ratio, I just it just it just makes me. I just like this 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Then when I pull out, and I think, I look, uh, to me, they talk about, oh, it's a 5.8-inch it's a screen. But when you do the math, you're actually losing screen real estate. A lot of people, oh, I got a big screen. And I'm <laughs> like, well, my screen is bigger than yours. Now, I, I, I don't know. I, just, I am not, I just, I, I don't know. I just, I haven't got to the point where I'm used to 18 by 9 aspect ratios. Because when I pull out a, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, I just like fall in love again with 16 mm. by 9 aspect ratio. Then, I mean, don't get me wrong. The note is big. Yeah. Right? The note is big because it's 6.4 inches. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to go, you know, 6.4 inch, then I can see 18 by 9 aspect ratio. But when you're going a little bitty, think about it. This is 5.8. This is 6.4, right? Mm -hmm. But the, the difference is like night and day here, right? I mean, look how big that phone is compared to the iPhone, right? 5.8, 6.4, but I mean, it is a huge difference. But even when you take a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, right, and you right. put it against that, I mean, this is a 5.2, this is a 5.8, and this phone is bigger than this phone. Yep. 
right? And granted that, yes, this got a huge forehead and chin, but I, it just, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, I think someone said 16 by 9 is probably going to dwindle off uh, yeah. in the next couple years. Uh, you know, because, you know, a lot of manufacturers are going for a, uh, that bezel-less design and they're making the phones longer. Um, so, yeah, I think I think 18, 18 by 9 is, is, is here to stay. Um, but I, I do wonder how that's going to affect, you know, like, you know, our TVs, because our TVs are, what, 16 by... 16 by nine right now. So if you're, you know, doing something on your TV, you're probably going to have those black, those black bars. At the end of the day, you know, our, you know, some of the blockbuster movies we were talking about, the Avengers today, they're shot in uh, what 21 by nine. So yeah, I, I think that long aspect ratio kind of gives you a more immersive experience uh, per se. But at the same yeah. time, you're, you're losing the top and the bottom somewhat because it's a lot longer. So. It, it, it's going to be interesting to see what, what they do with the F9 uh, when it comes out next year. I'm pretty sure it's going to be an 18 by 9 as well. Uh, and I, well, we've, I, been I, hearing, yeah. we've been hearing that the, the S9 uh, is going to have the same body style. As a new um, yeah. yeah, well, this is the S8, and I think it's going to have the same body style as the S8. I think they're going to change it up and kind of go a little more full screen on the front. Uh, but uh, I don't think they're gonna change this design. Shouts out to Kimmy in the building. What's up with your scriptures? I see she is in the it's building. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we got don't forget about ladies' night that um, this coming Wednesday, uh, guys. We it's coming. Uh -oh. Hey man, look, Trouble. I always like to keep I always like to keep my Monday morning hangover short. So we are we right at the top of the hour. So we gonna get on out of here. Let's see. Uh, Shouts out to everybody that came through. And uh, man, that got my man Dave from QC Dad in the building. Check him out on okay. his YouTube channel, QC Dads on YouTube. Go subscribe to his channel. I will leave the link down in the description after this broadcast. Uh, and uh, I really want to appreciate you coming through, man, and cool. appreciate everybody that's, that, that came through. And uh, we outstanding. Monday morning hangover, we do this every Monday morning. I love Monday morning hangover. Uh, and uh, we like to do this. And uh, man, thank y'all guys very, very much. And I just dropped a video about an hour ago, about two hours now. Uh, and I did a an emoji video. Y'all got to check, check it out, out, man. That that was that's pretty sweet, man. It's he's pretty, he's in love with the animojis. I, I like animojis. <laughs> I, I like I like animojis. I'm gonna tell you. I, every every time I send out eye messages, it's all animoji. I don't even type no more. I just put my mm -hmm. feet up there and say, "Hi, what's up?" And I just go crazy. I, I, I love animal. I, I, I posted a lot on on social media too. For some strange reason, you know, a lot of people say, "Well, you pay a thousand dollars for a phone and you're doing animoji. Why not?" Like I'm thinking, okay, I look at it like this. People criticize like you pay a thousand dollars for animojis, but it's so fun. It's so fun. Like, I, it, it to me, you know, yeah, you got the business part, right? But all mm -hmm. of a sudden, you got to have fun. I mean, think about this before we leave. I would get this, this, this out there. When you turn it on the TV and you turn it on the news, it's all bad news. You need something that yeah. will perk you up to make you smile, man. I mean, mm -hmm. think about what's going on in the world today. Everything is bad. Bad, bad, bad. So when you do something positive, people don't like it. People don't like when you do positive stuff. People don't like when you got animals just having fun. Man, we need more positivity in this world. We need more upbringing in this world. Think about this, people, before I let y'all go with this final word. Positivity. Think about positivity. Don't, don't let the enemy in your soul Right, and I, it, it, it's not about being religious and, and all this other stuff. I'm talking about you know the difference between positivity and negativity, right? Mm -hmm. Why be so negative? Why you can't they take things for being positive? I mean, this this world is revolving around negativity. Why people want to be in that realm of negativity? You know, you feel so good being positive. When you wake up in the morning and you man, this is going to be a good day. When you say that and you make it be a good day, don't let nothing get to you. Don't let nothing buy you down. 
right? Everything mm -hmm. that they throw at you, you say, you know what? It's going to be a good day. Your most humble, humble, positive experience is with, even if you had a hard day at work, when you come home, when you walk in your door and you see your family, you know, most people ain't going to go home tonight. Mm -hmm. A lot of people is, is not going to wake up this morning. Yep. But a lot of y'all that's on here and a lot of people that's going to watch this video is fortunate enough to wake up, fortunate enough to, to come home to their family. Why don't you just hug your wife and kids and tell them you love them instead of coming home fussing and cussing? You know, why don't you just sit back and say, you know what? I love my life. I love my family. I love God. How hard is that? You know, same, same thing about YouTube, right? People come on YouTube and hate me for being positive. <laughs> they hate me. Man, you suck. You don't need a YouTube channel. You stupid. You change. A lot of people get upset with me because I change. It's not mm. change, people. It's called growth. Back when I started my YouTube channel in 2015, I, I, I just get my ears wet. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I, I'm just starting out, right? Mm -hmm. I can't be the same person, the same YouTuber, the same reviewer that I was in 2015. I've invested into this. Studios, lighting, cameras, editing software. I grew with the channel. As y'all guys follow me through this journey, a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people hate me. A lot of people say, oh, I want you to go back to the, the, the old easy. Well, what is the old easy? So I'm not supposed to progress? Mm -hmm. People love negativity. They yeah. love hate. They love, listen, if you don't think that I know I got a lot of backstabbers, I do. But you know what? I don't let that get to me, folks, because at the end of the day, person, screw nobody over. This I've actually helped more people, and I don't ask for anything. You know, uh, I bring people on my show, give them exposure, a positive, and and I try to bring people to the next level. That's me. A lot of people, man. Don't like that. And it, it, I, for y'all watching this YouTube channel, I want y'all to, to, to be positive. Man, just think happy. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's the, that's the thing. Love, I mean, a lot of y'all got wives and for the ladies, got husbands and boyfriends and kids. Most of everybody have kids. When you go pick up your, your children from school a day, could you just look him in the eye and say, I love you? How hard is that? When the last time you told your son or daughter you loved him? What, what, what's wrong with that, folks? You're the parents, right? I mean, in order for your kids to be positive, in order to make it in this world, which is a very tough world, the real, the real world is going to be tough for your kids. It was tough for us, right? The only way your kids will succeed in this newer generation it's us parents hard to give them the motivation and the positivity and the guidance to get them to the next level if you if you're not up for it folks your kids is not going to make it but you have to listen it's, it you got to look yourselves in the mirror and uh you got to listen it's your children these are the kids when we old gray 70 80 years old our children's gonna be running this world. Our children gonna be running the United States. Our children gonna be the president, senators, governors. And if we don't guide them to the light, guide them to the positivity, then we we have failed as 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 a generation because our gen the, we are the generation that's training the newer generation that's coming up. And if we don't give them the positive influence, whatever happened to uh, you know the the boys' club and the ladies' club and and, and you know mentors, where are the mentors, right? Dads, mm -hmm. we we are our mentors to our children. 
Ladies, we are the mentor to our children. Our children should always come to us first if they need help. I'll, listen, uh, uh, one of the things that I see here a lot is kids come home from school and the parents, go in there and do your homework. Oh, can you sit down and help them? You know, go on, let's see what's going on in the school. Why your child, ooh, it's, it's a reason. It's not because they want to fail, right? Most kids don't want to fail. It's because we sit up there, we chastise instead of helping. We all complain instead of helping. We all want to say, it's the, it's the teachers are bad. The schools are bad. They're not teaching my kids anything. Well, guess what? As a parent, you got to sit up there and help your kids. And that's going to be the final note tonight, today, guys. And uh, I hope you all uh, get that final note and uh, think about the positivity and change in life. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Thank you all guys very much for coming to this uh, show today. I will see you all Wednesday. QC Dads, peace out. Later, guys.